Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine survival series. So in this episode, I am going to work on uh, this uh, hunger bar that you can see in the in here, this brown bar. So as you can see, hunger level is, uh, food level is decreasing gradually with time. And I have speed up this process to demonstrate easily. So when it go below 0.1, the food icon start blinking to show that the character is hungry so that the, the player has to find something to eat uh, if we go hungry for some time for a certain time the character will die if you don't eat something so but I am going to work on this hunger progress bar in this episode and also this blinking animation and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so so far we have worked on sleeping and save and load game and also this uh, water level and we can drink water like this so the next thing I want to work on is this uh, hunger level this uh, brown bar mm, right let's see this is the hard widget And so far we have only this show instruction and loading the screen set hydration and objective so this is how we set the hydration level just like this I will implement another custom event to set the hunger level Shall we do it here? Set. I oh, know. Hydration hunger. hydration and hunger is here right now let's uh, create a custom event set hunger level and then We have progress bar foot get this oh. set percent and we need the percentage as a parameter I'll call it a level and I'll clamp this between 0 and 1 just like here because uh, by mistake if I receive something larger than 1 it should be clamped into 1 because percentage can only be uh, be a value between 0 and 1 okay and just like this I'll create a new animation to blink the 
food icon whenever the bar is set to zero so this is the this is blinking the water bu bubble so let's can we duplicate this Yeah, so it's only one second. So just like that, I'll add another animation, blink, food. Right. Now I'll... Select IMG food. Uh, which one I need? IMG food or IMG canvas panel slot uh, this one canvas panel slot right and then let's have the track layout data offsets okay Here I'll set the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5. Oh, I should have done it without the animation. Right now select the Let's delete this key and move it here and add a key and then at here let's add another key right uh, now here in the middle I'll set the size to 90 X and Y and add another key right now if I play the food icon also blinks just like the vote icon right now also here if the food level is less than 0.1 then I'll blink I'll start the blinking animation of the food not the node I should use play any play animation set number of loops to zero so it will loop continuously um, oh. we should do this only if this condition is true if it is false all we have to do is uh, stop animation we should stop the animation 
right uh, now uh, let's go to the heart and here we have created a method set character properties so and we have already have the hunger level as well so let's call a set hunger level with this value right now where do we call this update character properties and we have already created health level hydration level and hunger level mm. right now uh, initially in this init character data function and data macro where do we call it yeah, we call it in the begin play of the third person character so so we already get uh, from the saved data health level hydration level and hunger level and set these parameters that we already have in our character and when I call this update character properties with delta that means the difference so change 0 it updates the HUD with the existing values of hydration hunger and health just like this so I think the default value for the hunger is 0 would be 0 so when I start playing the game the Oh, it's not zero it's filled okay right the reason is the default value of hunger was one okay so to test if no uh, let's create a system where the hunger level decreases uh, the food level decreases in with time so when it becomes less than one the character food icon will should start to blink so how do we deal with that in here let's uh, do this set timer by event and let's add a custom event what should we call it uh, let's call this function digest because the food digest and therefore the levels Deplete in the progress bars for hunger. So here I'll call update character properties with delta hunger minus point one. And let's do this every for just for testing every one second. And let's see what happens yeah you can see the brown bar is decreasing and it's okay it's too fast uh, 
I'll set the timer to three seconds. Right. Now you can see the brown food bar or the hunger level is decreasing slowly. So when it reach zero, the food icon should start blinking. To represent that the character is hungry, so find something to eat. And if it uh, reach all the way to zero, and after some time, if the player don't eat anything, it should die. But I'm not doing that part in this episode. Right, so if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. The link would be in the description below. And the project files of this project will be available uh, through the Patreon page for download. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.